Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Well, I want to update you on uh, healing periodontal disease naturally, you know. I did that video and it got a lot of response. And I have to tell you, I had a lot of response in the way emails and people texting me and people uh, getting hold of me on Facebook and telling me yeah, how it's worked wonders for them as far as using tea tree oil and um, putting it on their toothbrush, you know, three, two, three, four drops and brushing twice a day with it. And then also taking in some floss, <laughs> taking some of that tea tree oil on your fingers and putting some on here. You can buy, you know, treated tea tree oil floss, but it's expensive. Um, and so it's a lot cheaper to just make your own. And I think it's a little more active that way because it hasn't been setting and oxidizing out. And also, I really like the fact that you just add this to your toothpaste or make your own toothpaste. Toothpaste is super simple to make. You know, you take a, a container of good old baking soda, the one with the arm and a hammer, you know. <laughs> Yeah, add a little water, add about three tablespoons of uh, good old coconut oil, and then uh, add a couple teaspoons of uh, uh, any kind of uh, essential oil, something like mint or lemon, uh, lemon extract. I love that in my toothpaste. That's my favorite, that's there, actually. And then mix, I have enough water in there to mix it up. I put it in a blender. And then I take it and pour it in a jar and let that uh, jar, I use glass myself, I don't, I don't like plastic. And uh, then pour off, let it set for a little while, pour off the excess water and put a lid on top of that and then you got great toothpaste. It's really, really good. And then uh, you can add your, you know, pick your brush and dip that into there and add a little bit of uh, tea tree oil on top. Or you could add it into the toothpaste if you want also, and, uh, depending on how you want to do it. But amazing. I mean, if you have a little bit of periodontal disease, it is amazing. And you guys have been telling me about how you've had miraculous healings with your periodontal disease, and it saved you from having the dreaded root scraping. <laughs> And uh, that is amazing. And even some of you are even saying that your gums have grown back and your bone loss in your you know, jaw has come back also. And I, I'm just like, wow, I'm flabbergasted. And thank you for telling me. I think it's really amazing what can happen when you start healing all that uh, disease that's going on in there and getting rid of that uh, oh, terrible process that is destroying the not only the the gums and the teeth but uh, the bone also so uh, we start to come back to normal and we start to heal in general another thing i'd like to bring up is you can buy these little uh, interdental brushes maybe you can see that there it's a little tiny brush i know oral b makes them a couple different companies make them and you can add your tea tree oil to this also and go in between your teeth with that and that also helps to get the tea tree oil in that and it, it does a great job and I use them on a regular basis it's also good for getting stuff out of your teeth <laughs> um, also I'm going to update my uh, process you can use this three times a day and if you have terrible periodontal disease, use it three times a day and floss three times a day with it. And also, I would recommend using the interdental brush three times a day with it. You want to get that in there as much as possible. And some of you have said, oh, tea tree oil is toxic. Well, uh, tea tree oil is not as toxic as some of those things that you put in on your mouth in your mouth <laughs> like regular old toothpaste you know uh, it, heavy metals like titanium dioxide is in there <laughs> uh, fluoride which is in there and all kinds of different stuff and uh, you know, hydrogen peroxide which is in some of it uh, and this is a natural product so it really 
has been working for people for mouse sores and all kinds of different things for oh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Even the Swiss Army uses it for, you know, wounds and things like that. And it's in their medical kit. And so it's uh, really important to get it. And also organic, as this one is organic. That's really important. You don't want need any chemicals in your essential oil. And boy, keep sending me those emails. Keep sending me those uh, texts. Keep sending me those messages on Facebook under Dr. Paul Hader. That's my page. And uh, let me know how you're doing. Uh, I'm just flabbergasted with the fact that your bone's coming back, your gums are coming back. Also, if your gums are receding, I'd recommend taking this little brush and going up uh, on your gums and just brushing a little bit on gently and on the, the tooth, a little bit of tea tree oil and doing that three times a day also. And it will, it will help one way or another. Of course, if things are so far advanced that you're already lost teeth and things like that, there's only so much we can do. <laughs> you know, there is a, a we call a tipping point, you know. <laughs> we can stop the process now, but we can't bring the teeth back, you know. So, uh, also visit your dentist. It's really important that people visit their dentists on a regular basis, you know. And also, getting cleanings. It's really important that we get a good cleaning of our teeth twice a, a year. And uh, I know that people have fear about going to the dentist, but it's uh, your dentist is your friend. And flossing is super important. You know, this stuff here, um, you can buy it in bulk in these 200 yard uh, containers like on Amazon and eBay and that type of thing. And, and it's pretty inexpensive then. So you can change your life, you can change your whole mouth, you can change your, your gums, you can change your, your teeth. Uh, I've seen this with what you've been telling me. And I am, like I said, I've been amazed. And uh, the miracles do happen. There's no doubt about it. And I, I love hearing from you. And I love to hear about your progress and your changes and allowing yourself to grow as people who are taking care of your, your teeth. That's really important. Also, you know, it's uh, really important to get dental insurance, you know. It's pretty inexpensive. I have it here even on the island. And uh, there's people like Delta Dental and other uh, dental insurances. This only run, runs about, you know, $15 a month. And then that goes a long way. You just go in to get a cleaning. It's 100 bucks, you know. So uh, that really saves a lot of money. And um, I wouldn't do without it. You know, it saves uh, a lot. And if you if something simple happens, and then you can go in and have things taken care of. And it's just a little bit of peace of mind. And so uh, I highly recommend that you do that. I mean, and as we get older, we need to have more dental insurance. We tend to have more things go wrong. And uh, But unless you take care of yourself. It's important also, if you want to have strong bones in your jaw, you got to eat right. Uh, if you're eating out of cans and <laughs> nothing else, you know, I mean, this is not going to go good. <laughs> we, we need to eat lots of fresh fruits, veggies, and grains, and all organic, absolutely organic, because we need to have a strong immune system also to fight off those infections in our mouth. And if we don't eat organic, we kill off the, the biome. Uh, mass that we have in our gut and uh, that prevents us from having a powerful immune system and so we need to eat a, a whole foods plant-based diet like mine if you go to my website www.paulhader.com and up in the right hand corner near testimonials uh, you will see my diet and click on that and follow it and it's quite long and I also have a huge amount of recipes, too. So if you go to uh, my blog, I'm, uh, up there on the, the top also, and you will find uh, my recipe section also. I put out one a week. So it's important to eat right, to have good teeth, to have good bones, to have good eyesight, to have anything that's good. <laughs> And so that is important to 
change this aspect of who we are and move to a higher level of understanding and allow ourselves and let go of the fear. You know, the fear of the dentist is uh, is not a reality, you know. Uh, some of my dentists have been some of my best friends, tell you the truth. And uh, we would sit and have philosophical qu <laughs> uh, question and answers, you know, talking back and forth. And I, I think it's really fun. You don't get to see them that often, once in a while, because they're always busy. But uh, allow yourself to get over that fear of the dentist. I think that's uh, and not founded. Uh, if you, and you, know, you know, nowadays they have dental procedures that are pretty painless. So uh, it's really easy to get work done and taking care of your teeth. But if you use the tea tree oil in the first place, you're going to have less problems to, in general. So uh, that is really, really important. And the melaleuca plant or tree is a beautiful tree. And uh, they grow it down in, I think, in New Zealand and Australia. And uh, if you happen to be lucky, and lucky enough to live in those areas of the world, well, Great, you can get it natural from the source, the tea tree oil out of the leaves, and uh, and wonderful. And so here's more to thanking you for all the feedback that you've given me about the healing power of tea tree oil for healing up uh, periodontal disease. And I am so thankful to God that you you are healing and things are getting better for you, and I pray every day that you know, all of you that have had this periodontal disease will get better, and I want to make sure that you uh, get the feedback you need in order to allow yourself to move forward and keep moving forward, and you know, once your periodontal disease heals up, don't quit. <laughs> keep using it. <laughs> You know, maybe you don't have to use it as often. You'll have to adjust that accordingly to exactly what's going on with your mouth. <laughs> Listen to your body. That's the most important thing. And so maybe you want to use it you know, a couple times a week. Maybe you want to use it, uh, you know, three or four times a week. Maybe you want to use it, you know, uh, three or four times a week. Whatever you want to do. I really... And like I said, I've changed my ideas. If you have advanced periodontal disease, use it three times a day, floss three times a day with it, and also to do the little interdental brush three times a day. And I know for sure that you're going to have some amazing changes happen, and your periodontal disease is going to be a thing of the past. And um, again, I want to thank you for getting back to me. And uh, remember, I'm always here for you. Yeah, you can get a hold of me by Skype. You can get a hold of me by email, by text. Uh, my phone number is down there if you want to talk to me in person. Uh, I go to bed early by 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so you've got to catch me early. Uh, I'm an early bird. Today I was up at 4.30. And I do a lot of meditation, so I have a lot of energy. I do a lot of writing and making videos and different things, so I hit the bed pretty early and then I get up early. So feel free to contact me and like I said all my consultations are free and so if you want to get a hold of me feel free and I'm always here for you. And uh, if you care to subscribe and tell others I'd appreciate that and as always uh, if you care to make a don donation that's really greatly appreciated and, uh, and most of all most of all for sure. Remember, I love you.